This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako monthly Japanese snacks subscription boxes. In this picture, sumo wrestler Naya is seen holding up his new name, Oho, during a celebration of his promotion to Sekitori, the paid ranks of sumo. He had been going by his family name Naya while he was in the lower divisions, just like his famous grandfather in the 1960s, who had used his family name too in the lower divisions until his promotion to Sekitori. As Sekitori wrestlers, they've changed their names to Oho and Taiho, and while the senior Naya went on to become one of the greatest Yokozuna champions of all time, the younger Naya can only hope for now that he can find greatness like his grandfather. And in sumo, it all starts with the name. Every sumo wrestler adopts a shikona, or ring name. This tradition started in the 1600s to market title events to customers while hiding the identities of sumo wrestlers. Much like how watching a fight with the big show sounds much cooler than saying I'm going to watch Paul Donald White II wrestle some guy. In the same sense, sumo wrestlers are referred to by their ring name instead of their birth names. And a wrestler shikona carries many meanings, deriving from both the origin of the name and the direct translation of it. Although, when hearing a shikona, even as a Japanese person, the meaning isn't clear right away. I'm gonna do a little experiment with Yurio where I'm going to tell you some sumo wrestlers' names and if you can translate their English meaning, that would be really great. What do you think the meaning of Hakuho is? Uh, Hakuho. Hak means white. Ho. Ho. It's animal. <laughs> How about Takanohana? Takanohana. Of course, Hana means flowers, but Taka, Taka. Flowers, flowers. Musashimaru. Musashimaru? Meaning? Yeah. <laughs> meaning? No meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Musashimaru. Uh, okay, let me think. That's because wrestlers' names are written in kanji, the logographic Japanese form of writing that uses Chinese characters that represent a word or a phrase. Therefore, the special meanings make more sense seeing the kanji rather than simply hearing it. Yeah, we Japanese usually use kanji and it is easy to understand if it is written in kanji. So uh, if we hear that like uh, Musashimaru or Takanohana, we immediately imagine that kanji first. And after that, uh, we can think uh, the meaning from that kanji. There are some common kanji you'll find in sumo wrestlers' names, like the kanji for Fuji. So what is the meaning of Teru no Fuji? The sunrise from Mount Fuji. Or this one, seen in Mitake Umi, Shima no Umi, Oki no Umi, Sada no Umi, and Hido no Umi, which means sea. There's also a lot of Ryu, which means dragon. There's also this kanji, with two different pronunciations as seen in Asanoyama, Kiribayama, Aoyama, Yutakayama, Ichi Yamamoto, and it's also seen in Kotokuzan, Shohozan, Bushuzan, which means mountain or hill. There's also a lot of chiyos that are active in wrestling. Chiyoshoma, Chiyomaru, Chiyotairu, Chiyo no Kuni, and Chiyo Arashi. The kanji for Chiyo literally means thousand eras, so put together simply means eternal. However, some names, even though they sound alike, are actually written differently. 
A good example of this are the Taka wrestlers. Taka Kesho, written with this character, means expensive. Takanosho, written with this kanji, means prosperity. While in Takara Fuji's name, the kanji is actually not Taka, but a Takara, which means treasure. While the Taka in Takayasu's name means tall or high. But this one is weird because Takayasu is actually using his real name instead of a shikona written in kanji. But there are certain traditions that may influence a wrestler in picking their shikona, like Sado Gatake Heya, for example. Wrestlers from this Heya attach the kanji koto which is a Japanese instrument, and they attach it in front of their names as seen in top division wrestlers like Koto no Waka, Koto Shoho, and Koto Eko, and former Ozeki Koto Shogiku and Koto Oshu. It's an homage to the original stable master Koto Nishiki. And even though Japanese instrument doesn't sound as grand as Dragon or Phoenix, it does sound great in this Dr. Dre song. Some names carry great honor in sumo, like being given the name Kunishiki. This name, having been used by a Yokozuna and an Ozeki, has given the name a lot of prestige. So if you were being named Kanishiki, you're a pretty big deal. But my personal favorite are the Marus, meaning sphere or round, which I'm assuming are given to specially shaped wrestlers. Therefore, my favorite Shikona is Chiyomaru's Shikona, which means eternally round. Thanks for watching the video. Before you go, let's check out this month's theme for the snack boxes by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, our sponsors. Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese snacks subscription box full of popular Japanese candy and snacks, such as Japan exclusive Kit Kat, sodas, and ramen. While Sakurako is a monthly Japanese subscription box full of authentic traditional Japanese snacks from Japan's local artisan and snack makers. And Tokyo Treats and Sakurako's boxes come with a different theme every month, keeping things exciting and fresh. So this month with the Tokyo Treats box, I shared with my friends what it's like to be in a Japanese summer festival. From different snacks like apple pie to limited edition flavors exclusive to Japan such as salted vanilla pocky and cookies and cream Kit Kat. It was a great afternoon trying different flavors and tasting interesting snacks in the garden on a great summer day. And what I like about the Tokyo Treats box is that it always comes with a cool soda. This time it's the lemon flavor from the Fanta Premium series. And really cool instant noodles. This time it's the strong dashi yakisoba. But if you'd like to go on a more traditional route, the Sakurako box takes us to Yokohama this time, and with it all the tasty delights they have in the region. See, that's what's really cool with these boxes is that they show me places I wouldn't have known if not for the snack boxes and the cultural guide booklet that comes with every box. I got to learn about the history of Yokohama and also take a culinary trip without having to spend on an airplane ticket. So if you love exploring the world, learning new cultures, or simply like to snack, Tokyo treats and Sakurako boxes are a great way to do all three. And make sure you don't miss out on this special code that can give you a discount or freebies in the description box below. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye!